What is going on everybody? Atomic Buster here, bringing you more news and updates about the upcoming Nintendo Switch exclusive game Ninjala. So, there was a live stream at midnight this past Wednesday in the official YouTube and Twitch page of Ninjala, where the developers of Ninjala, Motoki Kaneda and Kazuki Morishita were talking about the new content that's coming for their new game Ninjala. They were talking about the story mode, the different outfits, weapons, season pass and a lot of other things. Not to mention that they had as a special guest the super famous Japanese pop star Kiari Pami Pami, playing the story mode and having a few games with her. Now this is where it gets interesting because they were showing basically everything. After formalities, they were talking about the story mode where each one of the 8 main characters will get their own story mode highlighting their backstory. By completing the story mode of each character, you'll receive rewards like ninja medals, limited edition costumes and Jala. What is Jala? Well, it's basically the in-game currency of the game that you get whenever you play a match. It is unknown yet how much Jala you'll earn per battle but it'll probably have to do with how many points you get by the end of the match. This currency of course is used to unlock extra costumes, accessories, hairstyles, weapon skins, basically everything. You can even buy the season pass with the in-game currency, which makes it really cool if you don't want to spend any money on it. However, something to note is that you can buy everything but the story mode, as the story mode is paid DLC, meaning that if you want to experience the story of each character and get those limited edition costumes, you're gonna have to pay. However, that is not a necessity and you can just download and play the game for free. The first story pack to be released is Band Story, that boy with white hair and purple spiky hair and it's coming out this June 24 at the same time with the game. The story mode is similar to the Splatoon one in that this is a single player mode where you traverse a city or stage and fight mobs along the way until you reach the boss of the stage. So there's nothing that impressive yet, but it still looks very fun. On top of that, it's also getting a cartoon and the first episode is coming out next Tuesday on June 23. More episodes will come later, but I imagine they'll be coming as more story packs are released. Also, something to note is that the ending theme of the cartoon is going to be a remix of Ninja Ray Bang Bang, performed by Kiari Pami Pami, and this song will also be in the game for free. So those of you who already know her will be pleased to hear it. The Ninjala mascot Gumchi is also going to be an AR effect for Instagram and Facebook. So if you want to have a bit of fun using the new effects for your photos, you can easily do so, as this effect is already released in case you want to use it. All users who download the game from June 24 to August 26 will receive 100 Jala, the in-game currency. The devs also say that if the game reaches 1 million downloads, everyone will receive an extra of 100 Jala again for free. So that's an added bonus for a free game, which makes it cool. The story mode will also have a limited special discount price of only $4.49 as they normally will cost $10, starting from story pack number 2 of course. This price will last until July 24, so you can earn special limited items not found in the base game by completing each story pack mode. Season Pass 1 will include new customs, new weapon skins, avatar motions, Ippon effect decorations, which are basically an effect that appears when you defeat an opponent with either a ninjutsu, 
a bubblegum projectile or after winning a parry. If you defeat someone while meeting these conditions, your opponent will be launched and will be stuck in gum once defeated. It doesn't serve much purpose, but it's pretty cool, and you'll get more accessories and costumes too. And of course, we had the super famous J-pop star Kiari Pami Pami on the stream. She was invited as a special guest and was the one playing the story mode and using the Gumchi effect on her Instagram. She also was playing some games with the developers and announced her collaboration with Steve Aoki to make the ending theme for the cartoon. Now, I don't know too much about Kiari Pami Pami, but I'm sure her fans will be very pleased to hear this new remix of Ninjala Re Bang Bang, which will also be available in the game as a selectable track to listen during battles. So, overall, with all of this new information and updates, you can clearly see that the developers have a lot of faith in the game. With more updates to come, characters, stages, and many more things in the future, it's safe to say that this game will be very successful and popular. On top of that, it's free to play, and you can clearly see the love that the developers are putting into this game. Remember that Ninjala is a Nintendo Switch exclusive game, and it'll be available on June 24. It'll be a free-to-play game, meaning that you won't need Nintendo Online to play, and everything can be bought with the in-game currency except for the story mode. So, having said all of that, I'll bring you more updates and news about this game. So, I hope that you look forward to more of my videos. I'm Atomic Buster and I thank you for watching. See you next time.